Hello everybody, my name is Light of Hand, and today I'll be doing an unboxing for Shadows of Brimstone, the Other World's Derelict Ship Expansion. How are you guys? I hope you're all doing well. I'm doing okay-ish at this minute, my back's still not 100%, but I am get slowly getting better. Anyway guys, before I start, I wanted to sort of show you some couple other things I got when I made this order. Now I didn't actually order this, but they seem to have sent it to me. I got some stickers. Now I'm not sure if anyone else got the same, you know, it's kind of nice. Not sure what to do with them really at this minute, but you know, it does look nice. Maybe if I get a folder, I can, uh, but there's something else I ordered as well. Because, I'm not going to lie, I own the resin, the resin one, but you only get two in the resin one. And when I saw this, I just thought, well, this would probably be better because I'm not a big fan of resin. Let me turn the light on behind me for a second. I got the corpse plastic bits. Now, they're $15, so that also put up my import tax. Do I think they're worth $15? Not really. But that said, I would rather have these than the, um, what's it called? The uh, resin or even the uh, cardboard. So, it's a, it's a bit of a both. Okay, so just before I do anything else with the corpse bit, I'm going to take the, the clean film off because one glare can be a big problem, and especially when it's got this stuff on it. I'll give them credit though, it, the box does feel a little heavy. Not, maybe not as heavy as the last one. The last unboxing I did. No, no, that was a... Yeah, so let's move that to one side, like the other world expansion, I mean, so, yeah. It also comes with these two cards, which is the Vortex Grenade, so, which is classed as a mine, uh, a mining artifact, a Vortex Grenade. Throw, discard to throw as a ranged attack, Thrown, throw and bounces like dynamite, does no damage but creates a Vortex it, uh, created in the space it lands. Okay, so we don't know what that. I don't know what that means yet until I read the rules. Okay, so this is a uh, a spaceship artifact. Darkstone Prism. Not sure I said that right. Okay, you you may focus the light of the lantern through the darkstone prism. Three attack once per fight whilst in. Whilst in the same or adjacent space as the lantern, use one grit to count a straight line beam or from your space a number of squ space, yeah, spaces equal to holding back the darkness roll this turn. Any model in a space the beam passes, takes D3 wounds, ignoring defence. That's good, actually. So, I suppose it means what this says roll. It means what you rolled at the beginning of the turn. I could be wrong on that. Okay, so let's quickly turn this back over for a second, because I always like doing my little fluff moment, guys. So let's, actually, let's turn the light out behind me for a second. So, it's not going to be so bad, the glare. Let's go up a bit. Let's zoom right in. Okay, so let's move that just to there. Lost in space for centuries, the starship Vostoros, I'm not sure if I said that right, disappeared for, with all its crew on its final mission. Hurtling through interstellar space, the starship systems are still running. Its dark stone warp drive still active, tearing open gates in the fabric of space and time that lead into the ship's corridors and cold cold still rooms of the ship through darkness and death close 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 in all around there are many parts of the derelict ship yet untouched amazing weapons and technology to be held to be had if you can survive this terrifying voyage of the dead so that's kind of cool okay so let's oh it's Falling forward, so let's time that up a little. 
let's then turn this over and zoom all the way back out. Yes, it has. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up slowly here and... Okay, straight away, the first thing I come across is the rule book. Okay, so let's... Uh, I'm going to move these to one side for a minute. I'm going to do the models near to the end. Because I like trying to get all the tiles and all that done first. Okay, so there's a rule book. Derelict ship. Overall sort of thing. It tells you what the game should come. Tent. Okay, so there is stuff about um, what grenades, broken gates and so on. There's also money tokens. That's clever. I like that. That will make things about 20 times easier. Kudos to you. Um, yes, yes, that is just brilliant. I love that. Oh, that's just made all paperwork so much more easier. Okay, so you got stun markers. I don't really know, kind of know, I know what stun markers do, but... So the void... Vortex Void. The Vortex Void is a powerful, um, chaotic environment element that pulls everything nearby towards its centre. It's used It's used for missions as well as Vortex Grenades. Items can be held by heroes. Okay, so it doesn't actually say much more than that. Uh, let's, let's have a quick look. Vortex Markers is a large... I'm not going to go into too much, but basically, yeah, it's... Uh, Let's see, touching the void, all enemies near the void. Anytime a hero enters a space by a movement. Wow. Oh, okay, so enemies are killed. Sorry, also applies to large and big monsters. Enemies killed by Vortex. Okay, so basically, guys, heroes, large and very large models take 2d6 dice ignoring defense. But anyone else is automatically killed. Oh, and, and the XP is still given. Oh no! Enemies killed by the Vortex Array do not grant XP to the heroes unless the hero created the Vortex under a enemy by throwing a grenade. Okay, so I'm not going to say any more than that. There are six missions. Time Echo, Collapse of the Vortex, Lost in Space, that's kind of a given. Captain's Log, which is a fixed map. Voyage of the Dead, and um, retractor beam. They talk about the uh, the other world bits in there. I can maybe show this bit. I didn't want to show the actual missions because I don't want to get into trouble. Okay, there's the some of the enemies. There's two enemies that are actually in which you get in the core sets. Are actually in here as well. But we'll find out. There is the other world table. I'm not going to show too much or talk about. What the differences are there. Let's put that over there for a second. Let's take this out. Oh, ho, ho, I'm looking forward to this one. I haven't done an unboxing for um, Shadows of Brimstone for a while. I've got to try and continue the gameplay videos. It's just space, time, and it's like even now I'm a bit worried about one of the animals coming in interrupting. Let's cut this open. Do you know what, uh, Flying Frog Productions? Thank you for doing the money um, tokens. I think that's very clever. It's going to make so things so much more easier. I've done a few. Let me know what you guys think in the because the tokens are different, so it's not like you can mix them up with the other ones. I just think they get better and better. Okay, so let's grab the first one. As you can see, there's there's fives, 25s, 100s, 500s, no 10s though. I would like there to be 10s. Maybe there's more in a minute. So let's turn this over for a second. There's these, what would be probably a starting bit. Well, it looks like a, tra a teleporter. Let's turn around to the other side. There is the the mine entrance, which looks slightly different and smaller than the other one, if I remember rightly. Let's move that out of the way and let's put, start putting this into here. Okay, so this is just corridors and dead ends. Can't really see them in this light. Let me turn that on behind. No, it's too much glare. So no, I'm not going to do that. Let's turn it around to this side. We well, sort of see the corridors of the spaceship. Again, it's a bit dark. I apologise, guys. But the glare will be bad if I have the light on. Let's put that over there. 
Again, there's some more corridor pieces, but uh, security logs. Cap the captain's log. Cool. Again, it's just like coral. Wow. It does look good. I do like. I do like the look of this. Um. Oh, it's a big circle. Um. Okay. So there's the uh, tokens for the robots. Not sure why. There's the gates. There's a big. What looks like could have been a turnstile bit that's been made into a circle with loads of smashed sort of minecarts. I'm trying to see if I can get this in the light without it shining too much. No, that's not going to be too easy. Okay, so yeah, that looks kind of cool. I'm not sure what these are yet. Let's turn it over. They've got this other sort of vortex thing on the other side. And that looks like a terraforming area with the plants going slightly mad. Probably because they've got dark stone light shining on them. And there's the gateways. Oh good, there's some more tokens here, for money, 5,000, I've never had one game where I've made 5,000, I've had um, where I've made over, um, close to 2,000 in one game, okay that's a dead, uh, not dead end is it, it looks like some engine of some sort, there is the repair tools, a couple of thousands, a hundred, another good day, 50, 100, 500, and another 25, and... Again, there's this sort of like nice little corridor piece with like a sort of like bucket that's been turned over, and then there's the wow, there's so much. You know what? What worries me is I'm starting to run out of space where I put the tiles. Okay, this one looks like it's just the same as what I just showed you a second ago, so yeah, it's just the same as what I showed you a second ago, so I don't see the point in showing too much of that one. Let's put that one over there for the minute because this video is going to be long as it is. Okay, so this side you've got a, a, another corridor piece with what looks like it's got a giant dark stone bit there. And then what's a miner that looks like he's got his leg mutated. His arms may be gone or tentacles. Oh, there's another one there as well. Another one there. That would be kind of cool if you had some like undead mutant sort of things. If they released that, that would be brilliant. Okay, that looks like environmental suits or so repair robots of some sort. So the corridors, yeah, I'm liking the, oops. Okay, so you got one, two, three, four, five, six. That's good, they give you the six. Um, so if you, let's say you didn't own um, one of the core sets that come with the Stranglers. I believe that's the City of the Ancients. It's been a while, guys, so I'm not 100% sure on that. But I personally believe where they do this, you know, it's, it's good, don't get me wrong, it's, it's better to have the models, but I think it's quite hard to get the core sets at this minute. Okay, so they've got this another nice little, another corridor piece, it looks like they're trying to build the tracks, still, that does look cool. Uh, let's turn it over, and that looks like an incubation sure. sort of area. So where you got, you're getting quite a few dead ends, but these dead ends are slightly different, they're doors. They, look, um, they could be dead ends themselves, but they are doors. Yeah, that does look cool. Let's put that over there for a minute. That looks similar to one we had before. Anyway, so we've got a lot more tokens again. Again, I can't state how useful I personally believe these things. These things are. And it will save so much paperwork. As long as you get the tokens right and your maths ain't out of order. Uh, okay, that looks like a... Hmm. Maybe a dock bit? You know, for on top of a ship? I don't know. Maintenance hatch? Yeah, again, until... I'm not 100% sure until I see the cards myself. Okay, let's put you into there. Oh, another big round one. Again, that has some more robot uh, tokens. Not sure why they've done the robot ones. I'm... Okay, that's, again, it looks like just a minecart that's waiting for the uh, dark stone to come down, like the old coal one. There's a barrel, some other bits. Oh, God, do you know what? I've got to get another... Oh, okay, so it is, it is ex almost exactly the same as the other one. It's another um, plant bit. Okay. Alright, so this looks like a blocked dead end sort of bit, or watered, flooded 
sort of corridor, which would scare the living hell out of me if I was in any. I wouldn't get you. You wouldn't catch me in a mine, if I'm honest, guys. Um, bleeding tokens. My claustrophobia would kick in really bad. The stun tokens. Again, as you can sort of see, it kind of looks cool. Looks like it may have even been a breach or somewhere because all the logs I'm trying to keep the walls in place. This looks like the uh, cockpit or the uh, uh, bridge or the ship, sorry. Not cockpit because cockpit's for smaller sort of ships. Okay. Again, I'm really happy by the amount of tokens I'm seeing. The thousands are worrying me though. I would have liked some tens. Instead of just the 5 and 25s, but maybe it was about space. This looks like some ancient um, tomb. That would be cool. And that looks like some reactor. Or even maybe the shi uh, shield room or something. But again, I do like these tokens. I can't stress how much that's going to make things a lot more easier for me. Okay. That looks like a... Dark stone um, pit, really. You can't really see it that well, but yeah, or a dark stone giant mouth. I do like that. So it's a little hole that someone's managed to dig through on the mine. Again, some little tokens. Again, more of those. Vortex grenade. Let's turn this around. Oh, this looks like a morgue. Yeah, that looks like a medical bay that's been turned into a morgue. Sorry to go all quiet, but that one's a bit morbid <laughs> compared to the rest. Cool though, suits the air, that really suit the air. Uh... Yeah, now this is the vortex counter. Now if I put that on the tile over there, you can see how big it actually is. I believe these are manhole sort of things. Again, that looks like something... Uh... This does look cool. I do like it. I'm hoping my, um, because this isn't part of my um, Outlaw Pledge, guys. I, I bought this separately, but I'm hoping mine comes over to the UK soon because there's quite a few things that's on my Outlaw Pledge that's already out. There's not much left because I pay for the one point, uh, Wave 1.5 as well. So, as I said, there isn't really that much left of there. Okay, I'm not sure what this one is. It looks like it's a navigation map. Um, that's some steep stairs going down there. Oh good, they've, they're marked off the edge so you can't just come down that way, you have to come down that way. That's cool. But again, that does look like a sort of map. And the last tile here, guys, looks like... I don't even know what that is. Um, is it a pump? And there's some more dead hero tokens, I kind of find that funny. Let's go back to this side, and then there is some heavy effect suits. Okay, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure that's like some pump to make sure like water, stuff like that, if it gets into the mine, gets uh, out. And this here looks like a, I don't know, it looks like some station of some sort. The blood on the floor over here. This does look good though. Okay, so I'm going to quickly open up the cards. Sorry, guys. Um, so yeah, well, so I'm I'm sure because like I've I've had to wait for this coming to the UK. I've had to pay import tax and all of that. Okay, so for the derelict ship, there is one, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Let me recount that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 cards. As you can sort of see, there's yeah, the bridge, the drive room, okay, medical bay, yep. Yeah. Exo suit bay, okay. Uh, loading dock, okay. Auto um, astro navigation, okay. Static chamber, security, security control, so, uh, hibernation gardens, hi okay, gardens, inhabit ring, inhabitat ring, short passage, medium passage, long passage, 
corner passage, T junction, and X junction. Okay, so let's put. Ooh, the slight damage. So I might not. I might know what one or two of them are. Okay. So they should be about the about the equal of the. Uh, yeah, it should be eighteen of these ones as well. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, so there, there isn't short corridors and stuff like that in it. Okay, fair enough. Okay, so there's the dead end. Yeah, I thought that's what it kind of was. The stone altar. Fair enough. The dark stone shaft. Okay. The dark stone boulder. Okay. The flooded chamber. Okay. The broken carrot. I'm not sure. No, no I'm, not, I'm not saying that right. The connection and um, con construction room. Sorry. The, oh, it is the hydro drill room. Okay, maybe it's a drill then. The uh, blaster caverns. Okay. The rail shift. The rail split, sorry. Let's do them. Okay, so let's put them over there as well. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so there's nine encounters now with all my videos guys i never show encounters because i think that gives away storyline okay so we know there's nine encounters on the other hand we are now about to go to artifacts so let's put the void grenade which is over there to there so one two three three artifacts now let's have a look what the artifacts are one of the artifact cars is a draw an ancient uh an artifact from the derelict ship the dark stone um, plasm, which we already know about, so let's put that over there. And then we also have the bone dominoes. Okay, once per adventure, you may add or subtract one from your dice result. Oh, but it's once per adventure. It's quite a bit of money. Something like that. I wonder if you could use that in the darkness. On the darkness roll, it doesn't. Mm, not 1% sure on that. 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 darkness cards. Now, I'm only going to show one darkness card, and that's the one that's... Oh, well, there's two of them. <laughs> I'm not going to show any of the others, because, again, I think it's a story that can be a... Uh, but this one has been shown all over the internet anyway. So this is, co this is Cold Death. For each wound a hero currently has on him, he immediately takes another wound, ignoring defence. Then do the same with sanity. So let's say you, you this one scares the living hell out of me. Um, but at the same time, makes the darkness deck that much more scarier. I'm not sure that's a different back to him as well. Let's just put that over there. And then there's one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There are twelve. Um, threat cards for the outer realm. So let's start here. Okay, this is the Nick. So it's astronaut, but necronauts. If I'm getting that right. Okay, so if you draw this and you're in a low threat, you only do D three of them. If you're doing a three to four party, you would get a special dice. I can't remember what the dice is called now because I haven't played for so long. There, or uh, you get six of them. If you've got there, so there's one, two of those. Okay, auto turrets. If you are one to three, there is one. If you're two to four, there's two. Five to six is three auto. Okay, so there's only one card for that one. Space terrors. Okay, space terrors. Uh, shadow hunters always attack from ambush, so they're always going to get an ambush. That's not good. Uh, ra Radiant claws. Any time a hero takes one or more wounds from space terror. They gain, uh, the attack also gains a bleed marker. Oh, so they get a plus further five for each wound you cause against them. So one to two, there's only one uh, space terror. Two, uh, three to four, it's D3 space terrors. And five to six is six space terrors. So there's, again, there's only one card for that one. There's two for this one. Okay, so these are your dark stranglers. Dark stranglers do the following wall crawlers always starts in ambush and moves 
through other models. Okay. Uh, infiltration. Add one to the roll for a broken gate spawning. So they've got a chance of more of these spawning. Okay, so... Also, so if it's one to three, D3 plus one dark, dark stranglers. Um, the special dice, but there would also be two broken gates. Uh, and uh, five to six will be six of them with three broken gates. Oh, where's the rule book? I've probably buried it underneath everything. No, I haven't. I might find out what them gates do in a second, guys. Actually, I might... Uh, so it's wandering space terrors from below. Okay, so again, we already know what these sort of bits do here, but they also get... Oh, let it focus. Come on, focus. Focus, focus, focus. It's taking a second to focus. Sorry about this, guys. Let me come a bit a little further out. I'm not sure why, but it is taking... Let me try and turn the light on behind me with that. Ah, see, that's made it easier for it to focus. Unfortunately, we'll get a little glare if I'm not careful. Okay, so one to two is obviously one. There's a D3 for the uh, three to four, but they get a broken gate. Uh, great. And obviously three or more. So that is, again, the same about stuff coming from below. So, okay. Uh, so there's some be uh, beacons, drones. Okay, there's one for one to two heroes, three to four is D3, and five to six is three of them. We don't know what these guys do yet, so... Okay, and then there's the Lost Crew, which seems like the more nasty one. So there's one beacon, or D3, uh, nec Necronauts. Two uh, drones, or D th or a special dice of Necronauts. Five, six is three uh, uh, drones, or, or six Necronauts. Okay... So let's just put this to one side for the minute. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen encounters. Now again, I don't show encounters, guys. I know I give away practically everything else that you get in these sets, but yeah, I do not like you know showing encounters. Because again, I think it's story being given away. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, some other stuff here, some rules. Ah, no. Okay, so we got the artifacts. Now I'm going to put this card that we've already read over there for the minute. So let's have a look. So we've got the energy beam. The energy beam is a ranged eight shots. It's there. Okay, when firing, choose, choose the following. Three shots with no pluses to damage. Two shots with plus one damage. One shot with plus three damage. Now that's really, really good. Okay, there's two of them. Mission's log. Okay. Discard to let every hero recover a grit. You you will also gain 50 XP. Okay, so there's two of them. Okay. Sedu uh, sedation in injection. Discard to fully heal a hero's sanity... Or remove a madness. That hero is minus one initiative until the start of the next adventure. So even when you go to town, that will be the, uh, the case until you actually start again. Static bomb. Discard to throw a ranged attack. Throw and bounce like a dynamite. Does no damage, but any enemy model in the same space or adjacent loses their... So that would be good. Unfortunately, it gets discarded. Neo Repair. Neo Repair. Discard to fully heal a hero or remove an injury. Um, sorry, remove the injury, mutation or parasite. Okay, so another way of removing parasites. Really useful. The hero also gains one corruption point, ignoring more power. So, mm, again, if you're near the end of your sort of thing to gain another mutation, it may not be so clever to do. Gravity Boots, plus two sanity. You are immune to gravity effects. Okay, that's kind of cool. Breaching gun, range two, two shots. Range four, two shots, sorry. Use the D8 to roll to hit and damage, and for damage, plus eight counts as critical hits. Any model that takes one or more wound from the gun during a, during a turn also gains a stun marker. Okay, that's really cool, actually. Void suit, gain two sanity. Endurance 4, you cannot take more... Wow! Sorry, guys. You cannot take 
more than four wounds from a single hit. Now, there are times there are bosses that would... And you gain immune to space effects. It's... T that is... I, I'm surprised it's that cheap. Vortex grenade we've already read. It's from earlier. Thermal gloves. Plus two sanity. There's a lot of plus sanity stuff here. You're immune to burn markers and stun markers. Okay. Let's... Do you know what worries me though, guys, is because I've got, like, all the world, there's so many piles of decks now for when I'm trying to set things up. Um, don't get me wrong, a lot of it you don't have to put with other stuff. The other world card, Derelict Ship, obviously. Rules for the uh, Vortex Grenade, I've kind of explained some of that. Ah, now this is the one I do want to actually read out. Seal the gate. Any hero in the same, in the same or adjacent square as a broken gate may give up an attack to make a skill plus six test choosing choose any skill to use each six rolled place place a marker on the gate gain 10 10 xp each when there are three markers the gate seal is removed if an explosion like a dynamite goes off in the same space as a broken guard not adjacent the broken grate sorry not i don't say why it's a guard sorry gate Great, sorry, is sealed and dece on a roll of 3 plus on the d6. Gain 25 XP. But let's have a look what uh, happens here. Permanent a placement. A, go a great markers are placed like an enemy with zero initiative. Even in an ambush, the, the fight is not complete until all... Broken grates are sealed. Broken grates are always oh, assist with a single monster type as listed on the threat card. Was always associated. Okay. As a as a initiative zero, each turn all a turn roll a d6 on the broken gate on a four five on a on a five plus or four if they are no. Assisted enemies on the board. So basically, it's five plus if there's enemies on the board. Four plus if there are no enemies on the board. Place one new enemy model with the associated enemy type in the empty space adjacent to the broken grate. You cannot move the darkness one one space forward on the depth track to the broken grate. Uh, if you cannot move the darkness space on the depth track. Okay, I'm not sure what that means at the end of that. I need to... Sorry about this, guys. I'm confused about something here. Okay, so one new enemy type of the... So, one new enemy from the assembling point. If the empty space adjacent to the gate... If you cannot move the darkness space one forward on the depth track instead... Oh. Oh, no. So, basically, there is no spaces next to these... That move, oh, oh, that makes it even more dangerous. So you might even throw dynamite if there's a load of enemy, just so you might even kill the enemies. Okay, guys. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show the models. Uh, I don't want to open it too much, your boys. Certain things may not be so easy to find. Oh, guys, I like this. Let me just show you this now. On the side of the box, it shows you how to put the models together. And I'm assuming they've got that on the other side. I like that. That's that's good. I like, you know, when, when companies do some stuff like that, I think that's really good. They also advertise some of their other games on the other side, but you guys aren't here to look at them, are you? No disrespect to Flying Frog. Okay, so let's keep them in... Ah, oh, good, they're in a little bag. Okay, so you get... You get three sprues of the uh, ne uh, Necronauts. Okay, so let's have a look at the actual models. Now, I haven't built anything for it yet, guys, so it kind of looks like the part of the suits themselves are partly tentacles. Let's turn that around. Let's have a look at that one. So it's basically, it could be six of the same looking types, but skeletons in astronaut sort of things. 
there's not much you can really do with them is there yeah they're the, so it's three of the same so let's have a quick look at their stat card okay so the necronauts are undead derelict ship they're a size medium they have initiative two so the same as the preacher so our good old preacher would go behind them they cause one terror a hero starting their uh, activation on the same tile automatically takes one horror hit. Endurance. This enemy cannot take more than two wounds from a single hit. Extra damage is wasted. That is scary. So you can't kill... So that's worrying actually. So you can't kill them quickly. Nightmare. Every hit done to an Actronaut, the hero also takes one horror hit. For every hit done, oh, done by the, so they cause, oh, okay. So they move at three, have an escape of uh, five, uh, escape of five plus, so they're easy to escape from. They also have a melee of three. They have a combat of two, which do four damage per hit. Now, again, that's really scary. They do four damage, uh, four defense, and have five health. So this is a medium type enemy that has the, you hit him, but you also get points for how many times you wound him. So as long as you, so basically, guys, if you hit him you, and don't wound him, you won't get anything. But if you hit him, for, but then for each wound, add stuff on there. Now I know there's some weapons out there, or, or they're coming that get means that doesn't count. That scares me. Cold hunger isn't the first one on the chart here. The acronauts combat are now plus one damage for. Every fall to sanity, the target at the start of the attack. So basically, they don't do much unless you've already got sanity damage. But still, by the sounds of this sort of ship, that's kind of scary. Tangling hoses. Adjacent heroes cannot get... Oh! Cannot get critical hits. That's, again, kind of scary. Heavier virus suits. Plus two health and immune to damage from explosives. Okay. So immune to explosives. Oh, okay. Death grip. Astronauts now now are escape six. Oh no, sorry, it's even harder to escape them because they're it's oh Yeah, sorry guys, I, I was getting that wrong if it was okay, so you have to roll five six to escape them. So then they it becomes a six and I get plus one combat, so that's do you know what? That's scary. Jar headed. Jar, uh, jag, jagged helmets. The acronauts to roll to hit, acronauts to roll to hits are now six. Now cause a bleeding marker to adjacent. Oh, to, okay. To roll hits of six now cause a bleeding marker to an to adjacent to addition to the normal damage. Sorry, guys. Forgot forgotten missions. Acronauts Perez target base on the highest hero level on the highest hero level followed by who followed by who currently has the most xp at the at the hero's level by also get x combat where x the hero's level so whoever's the highest so if you're doing split of the thing it wouldn't it means everyone because you all get the uh, target. So this one's designed for if that hero who's way ahead would suddenly become the uh, target. I, I don't play equal split. But that kind of makes... That's kind of cool. But then otherwise it would just go by normal split, I suppose. And so on. Okay, so then there's the Brutal. Again, it's um, the same initiative. It caused, still does the same terror. Endurance is still the same. Very nightmarish. So they... they Actually, let me turn the light out behind me, guys. Sorry. It, the glare is quite bad, so I'm sorry about it. Uh, very nightmarish. The hits are done by the Necronauts due, due to take two horror hits. They also have the heavy environmental suits that are immune to damage from explosives. They move at three and have an escape of six, so they're really hard to escape from now, guys. They also have um, four plus. Yep, four plus. They have three combat that does five damage. They have a defense of... Four and eight wounds. They have uh, for every 20, 20 for every time they hit, as long as you, but then you add for the wound. So if you just hit and do no wounds, remember guys, you don't do any damage. It is a plus five there. 
so but they've well, they got the endurance these these things could last a long time this they scare me actually they especially with how many that can turn up cold hunger uh, combat they plug at plus one damage for every two seconds yep still the same tangling hoses is still the same paralyzing fear now I believe that one's new heroes that take one or more sanity from a Necron's terror during the activation also gain a stun marker okay that's scary um, ravenous Necrons are now plus three to hit that's also very scary jagged helmet Necrons Melee to hit roll 6 now cause a bleeding marker to addition to the, that's the same. Forgotten mission, again it's the same. So again, f the forgotten mission bit is really is really about um, who, you know, the person who say, you, like in one of my games, uh, I was playing with a, game called, a gentleman called Liam. Me and Liam had one hero each that I think could even level again before the others had a chance. So going up against these sort of things would cause probably... Make you want to slow down and wait for the others. Okay, so let's put that all to one side for a second. So the auto turrets are going to be next. Let's have a... I'm going to turn the light on again behind me for a second, guys. Sorry. Sorry how long this video is, but there is a lot of content in this box, so I hope you do all enjoy this. Okay. Um, okay, so there's, it's uh, three of these, so there's only three in all. Okay, so... Yeah, not much to really show on the, uh, the, I bet they look really cool though, built much more better than they do probably on the sprue. As I said, there are three of them on the sprue, so now let's pick up the auto turret. Okay, auto turret, hazard, derelict ship, large, initiative five, so practically all heroes except for the, um, oh, what's his name? The gunslinger would go after him. Immune to turret. Uh, turrets are immune. Uh, sorry, turrets cannot be uh, cannot be moved in any way. So they're mobilized. Again, I'll turn the light up behind me. Sorry, guys. Blast the cannon. Range 12. Three hits. Two damage. On the rolls of six, roll d6 hits. Fuck! Excuse my language. So... <laughs> When destroyed, every adjacent model receives D3 wounds, ignoring defense. So a hand-to-hand -hand person is not good against this thing. You can automatically escape this unless there's a rule that says otherwise. Um, it has a range of 4+. plus. Again, this, this scares me. I wouldn't, I wouldn't actually recommend what I've just read from these bits, sending someone out to this ship at this minute, because it sounds really dangerous just from these cards, guys, which is good because... Uh, it, it needs to be a little harder this game I personally believe because um, I think after a certain level it gets a little too easy but when you're level one oh something like this would be really dangerous I think Sethron still cor uh, construction plus eight health well that's not good neon self neo self repair two heals two wounds at the start of each turn so he's got defense eight. So you got sorry defense eight. Sorry defense uh, three. So that's kind of scary. Advanced target in matrix. The turret now has a th um, three plus to hit. Shield. Sh uh, defense shield. Turret now has an armor of five. Now so those of you who don't understand what armor does. Armor is basically for every. Let's say I hit him. Let's say I rolled a six. So we ignored that armor. Would give him a 5-6 save against the damage I've just done. So, yeah. Alarm. Alarm that sets off by the self-defense turret adjacent attracts the attention. Draw a threat card to add to the fight or the ambush. Wow. Just wow. Dark stone power core. A beam hits. Now does 4 damage. And when... Now does 4 damage. <laughs> Sorry. And when destroyed, every adjacent model takes D6 wounds instead of... Oh, that's really bad. So you ignore defense as well. So that's really, really bad. So again, if you were using the um, native, you, unless you, you've got your shield, I suppose. You, you may not be a person who's using the shield. 
but you'd have to be really careful, otherwise you'd get killed. Again, a little worried about that. Immobilised still, uh, their initiative is now 7 at the brutal level. Uh, again, that's the same next game. That's really scary. It's got the... It's also got defense shield now, so it's got the armor, and it also now when it explodes, it does um, d6 wounds, ignoring armor. It also has three three shots and yet yeah, three shots and four damage. Already, this scares me. This one actually scares me. Uh, easy to escape from, range of four plus, uh, defense of three, sixteen wounds. So it's worth a lot of points, though. Okay, the, again it has the uh, casing, which gives it plus 8 uh, health, it has the Neo Self Repair for every 2 wounds, could be repairing itself, uh, Matrix again, plus, does the plus 3 now, Laser Turrets, Blast Turrets and now get plus 1 shot and ignore armour, so you guys, if you have armour, it's just going to be ignored, that's, again, so if you have the Outlaw armour, oh, that's not good, Alarm, okay, we already know what the Alarm does, oh no, this is different, Oh no, it is. It, uh, they start the fight as in ambush, as they ambush the people, sorry, my mistake. And multiple turrets. Each, each, each auto turret now selected and fires its blast cannon at two different targets each turn. So it gets... <laughs> now that, I'm trying to work out. Would that mean it would do another set of shots, or would it split the shots between... Each auto turret now selects and fires its blaster turret at two different targets each turn. Okay, this, I'm a little confused by that. Either that means it splits between the shots, because it's already dangerous, or it will get six shots, but three at one guy, three at another. What would you guys do in that situation? Because I'm not too sure reading that. Uh, maybe I've misread it. Um, okay, guys, now we're on to the beacon drones. Um, yeah, Woo. I'm I'm liking what I'm seeing, I'm really, really liking what I'm seeing here, guys. Okay, so here is the uh, beacon drone. Okay, let's turn the light on behind me, because this, this isn't too bad. I need that for, again, I like, do you know what? If you went by the just the core set models, they were terrible. But since then, the quality has got really, really good. Um, so I do like them. Well, there's three sprues, each one representing a single enemy. Uh, sorry, beacon. Now I'm going to turn the light out behind me for a second, guys. And now I'm going to tilt this way. Beacon enemy, a robot, derelict ship, large, initiative three. So our pe preacher friend is still behind. Even if he got plus one. Um, navigators of the darkness, beacon drones hit, uh, to roll of six, cause horror hits instead of normal damage. Damage count, uh, count remains the same. Okay. Immune to critical hits unless the adjacent to the target, uh, attacker. So if you're shooting from a distance at them, they're immune to critical hits. That's scary. Warp Pulse, at the end of its move, all adjacent heroes take one hit, one hit for sanity damage they currently have. So they take one hit for each... Huh. So all heroes take one hit for each sanity damage they can... So if I'm reading that right, let's say you have two sanity damage, you'll take two hits, which would mean damage? Three? You've got your defense obviously against it. These are already starting to sound very scary. Feedback Quake. Oh. When damaged, all heroes in the derelict ship. On the derelict ship. Okay, all heroes on the derelict ship each take D6 hits that do two damage. Wow, so it's, it's not even saying. It's just if you're in the outer world, when one of these goes, these are deadly. I mean, like, each of these hero monsters have actually seemed really, really scary. Again, I think we do need um, some darker enemies in this game. Okay, movement of 5, escape of 3+, plus. melee of 4+, plus. combat is 4, damage is 3, defense is 3, health is 18. Um, it's um, 10 to 5. 
So what I mean is, for the hits, it's five, 10, but for each wound you cause, as long as you cause a wound, it's not like if you hit it and cause no wounds, you don't get any XP. So if you if you hit and cause one wound, it's 15. If you hit and cause two wounds, it's 20. If that makes sense, guys. Okay, repair... Repair Dynonics. Dyna... Ah. Dyna... I can't pronounce it to save my life. I can see... I, I can hear myself saying it, but I can't say it. Dynam... <laughs> What's annoying is it's something that's said a lot of sci-fi things, so I know I'm... Um... Okay, Regeneration 2, anyway, which heals two wounds at the start of each turn. Void Navigator. The beacon gains the keyword Void and ter plus and Terra 1. A hero starts the adjacent on the same map tile, takes one horror hit. So we all know what Terra does, anyway. Um, maintenance Clause, plus two combat. What the f... Excuse my language. Targeting Grid. They, now their melee is 3 plus. Um, Dister. Um, dis I'm not even about to pronounce that, guys, sorry. Memory. Plus 4 health and retargets each turn. Disintegrated memory? Could be. Uh, warp explosion. When destroyed, all heroes on the same tile take d6 corruption. If adjacent, take 2d6 of corruption hits instead. Fuck. So you get that. And then you get that. That's that's really, really nasty. Brutal beacon drones. For initiative. Um, that's still the same. Energy shield. Still the same. Oh, no. Yeah, I mean, no, still the same. Pulse. I think move to the... Take one hit for each damage. I'm just, I'm not, I think it just must be one hit, not like their combat hit. It would scare the living crap out of me otherwise. They have a melee, or so they move five, escape three plus. Yeah, it's still the same. So if they have three plus to hit, they have six combat, four damage each, three defense, 25 health points, but they're still 10 to five. Uh, okay, the repair, dynamics, dynamics, mm. Regeneration of two, sorry. Void Navigator. Gag. Okay, so they gain the keyword of Void, but they also have now Terra 2 instead of Terra 1. Message from the other side. Heroes that are currently at least at half sanity on the same tile as one beacon or more drones are minus one to the rolls to hit. Six is still cast as uh, criticals. So, but... <laughs> Okay, so uh, dis I'm not sure if that's disintegrated memory uh, plus six health. That makes them thirty, and a retarget in each turn. A warp explosion. When destroyed, all heroes on the same tile take d6 corruption. Yeah, so that's the same. Okay, guys. Well, that is the unboxing of the um, derelict ship. Um, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'm really, really kind of like happy for what I've read there. Um, so yes, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm liking what I've seen, I'm liking, I've, I've got to play it again, I've got, I've got to continue doing that series, because we've still got to see the cowboy, the native, and the, um, doctor being played for that little group, and then I split them up and put them all into other groups, don't I? It's just, look, what it is for me at the minute, guys, is the dog's actually not been too bad, so it could happen sooner. The other problem I've got at this minute is I've got myself a few more things, as you can sort of see some stuff there, there's some more stuff there, and some more bits over there. So I need to get them out of the way as well if I'm going to do it. And I've got a bad back. So this minute I'm in a lot of pain just standing here, just doing this. I had to take a painkiller before I was going to do this because I knew that I would be in pain. But anyway, tell me what you think, guys, what you saw, you know. Let me know, well, if maybe I've read something wrong, let me know. I don't mind. Um, just, yeah, yeah, I'm I'm really looking forward to seeing what else this could bring to the game. I wouldn't put, I, I really, really do not think it's a good idea putting this up against a level one group. Now, let's have a quick read here. Let's see if it says that at the beginning. Because sometimes they do sort of just say, look, this isn't good for level, one, um, level ones. And I know certain bits... Okay, so new missions doesn't say that. 
I, it's the same as um, the other world, the, the last one that came out, which I can't pronounce properly, Teradora or something like that. They say as well, not not clever idea to put these guys up against um, level ones. So, I mean, sorry, it's not a good idea putting them up against level ones. They don't actually say that though. So, guys. Anyway, I hope you've liked this video. It's a long video, isn't it? Um, if you have, please click like. If you are someone who likes uh, Shadows of Brimstone, I have a long, long list of things that I've done unboxings for. Go check it out. Enjoy. Um, so, yeah, guys. Uh, I hope you're all having a good day. And feel like if you need to leave a comment, tell me what you think of the video. Tell me what you actually... Uh, you know, are you interested in getting this set yourself? Or are you one of the people who are waiting for your minecart to turn up? I'm waiting for the rest of my um, Outlaw Pledge to turn up. I, I do kind of feel sorry for um, Flying Frog. They did, basically, the deal was really good. What was the minecart? There's like thousands of pounds worth of stuff for only a few hundred. I mean, about a thousand or something for like a few hundred pounds. So it was a lot that they're doing. And I, I hope they do release it all soon. Um, I'm also hoping it gets released in the shop part soon as well so I can you know get my unboxings done of it as well um, but I do think the, the minecarters should get their stuff before someone like myself can buy it um, I don't know what, what do you guys think about that sort of stuff anyway I'm rabbiting on see you later and goodbye oh please like please leave a comment if you feel like you need to or subscribe if you like what you'll see here. I've got a mass load of other stuff. I've got some gameplay videos that I've done. There's mistakes in them videos, which I do try to correct as I go along. So, yeah. Goodbye, guys.